Um, I'm uh, super, yeah, definitely super excited to see this one. I did also confirm that that is not a uh, Mario Galaxy jacket. I'm a little upset about it's it. It's just a regular Galaxy jacket. Yep. That's unfortunate. But, yep. you know, Wizzy rocking the Mario hat, rocking the Mario mask. I think he's got enough Mario for us. Rocking the Mario on screen. Going to PS2 to start this set off. And some immediate aggression by Mars. Landing with the Nair. Getting the jab 1-2 and the up smash as well. Yeah, man. This is wild. So this is actually a stat that we were talking about a little earlier, too. Uh, Louis Money always going to Game 5. Louis Money has played nine best of five sets between Riptide and Low Tide. Eight of them have gone to Game 5. That... I'm telling you, man, that guy clutches a game five, but, you know, he, it takes him a while to get there for sure. Here we go, though, as we have Mars and Dark Wizzy, both these guys capable of 3 0 or going to a game five. Yeah, but this I, is looking good uh, for Dark Wizzy at the start. Yeah, a fantastic start in terms of percentages, but now here's where the hard part begins because Wizzy has to find a way to take the stop. And with Mars dancing around shield, dancing around in neutral, it's very, very difficult to pin him down long enough to get one of those solid hits that'll take the stock, especially with Mars looking for those flip kicks there. But the F throw off stage is going to set up Wizzy for the dash attack to two frame, pushing Mars even farther off. This could be, no, Mars, a uh, beautiful wait and then a jump back onto stage into the back air. Little surprised that Wizzy didn't pull the trigger at all there. Like, uh, he jumped over him, so if he decided to up smash, that would have uh, definitely hit, but I think he was most likely expecting Mars to just do a standard get up, which is kind of an interesting option to think that ZSS is going to go for, seeing that she has so many ways to kind of jump over you anyway safely. Yeah, I, uh, more often than not, we're probably going to see uh, the like the ledge drop into flip kick to yep. get back on stage behind. Yep. But Mars, very, very smartly mixing it up. Can't mix it up for too much longer, though, before Wizzy connects with that up smash out of shield. All right. There we go. So there we go. Nice little. Oh, doesn't get the grab, unfortunately, though. The Zair to the grab. Not going to mark. Uh, make the hit here. But definitely doing a good job of actually uh, punishing some of this pressure here from Wizzy. Stepping a little closer to that, uh, that fireball so he can get a jab punish. And that's actually uh, one of ZSS's most punishable moves in terms of end lag is that uh, that whiffed grab. So it's very, very critical that when Mars does go for that grab and when he does miss, that Wizzy goes in and gets as much as humanly possible off of it. See, like immediately off of that down smash, Mars can just spot dodge and Wizzy isn't able to find a hit because it's just so fast. Okay, forward air action. Jumping out of it too, Wizzy uh, making great, uh, or sorry, Wizzy looking for that ladder combo, but Mars using his character, both his fantastic SDI and his character's quick options to get out of it. Now chasing off stage, he's underneath the stage, but still makes use of that double jump to get back. Wizzy really, really struggling here on this stock as Mars gets the throw off stage into the side B for the KO. All right, man. Nice. Well, that's something that you definitely see Mars do quite uh, often. Is you know he'll, he'll throw out and whip a, a, a aerial and then immediately know that you're going to jump. So he goes for that run up up smash and catches your jump. And, oh, I really like that up air from Mars too because he's literally just covering so much space. Wizzy having trouble finding an inroads. Once he does get it, Mars just immediately starts throwing out moves again, and Wizzy can't really get past it. Like he gets the grab, he gets the back throw but no follow-up. And that's that's the critical thing that we've seen so far is, is a stunning lack of follow-ups from Dark Wizzy instead of having to rely on that raw run-up up smash to take the stop. A little surprised that I want to hit too because I feel like Mars has been doing a good job of recognizing that Wizzy is always trying to go for some level of a read like that. And so he's been uh, preemptively throwing out hitboxes after whipping or, you know, uh, hitting the shield anyway. Like, you'll see him hit the shield with the F-tilt and then just immediately jump forward air uh, as well. But that time he ran back and ended up getting caught for it. Wizzy trying to put up a nice combo and get that down air at the top. I don't think that would have finished, but it would have been some great damage for sure. And a good uh, good damage anyway, because 75% almost completely erased the, uh, the lead that Mars managed to build himself up but still very, very even between the two of them. Wizzy's been doing a great job of getting back into this. He still needs to take the stock, though, and that's where it's going to be a little bit tougher. All right. Back air's coming out. This is exactly what I was talking about before the set, the, uh, the famous Wizzy neutral, but it works very well for a reason, and that's because he's so solid with it. Gets the back air there as well, tries to chase, but Mars just immediately pulling the trigger on those defensive options to get away from Wizzy. You can see this game is going down to the wire. Two man, two, uh, well, three minutes left on the clock. And we are definitely going to get a KO here. Oh my God, that should have been an up smash. That should sure. have been an up smash, but Wizzy just uh, a little bit too anxious in that situation. Goes for the, the safe option, the guaranteed option, the grab instead. Mars gets the up throw off of the grab too. Now chasing Wizzy very high, looking for the Zare because he wants the follow up off of it. But Wizzy not giving it to him yet. Goes for the up smash no. too, but Mars whiffs it. 
very last second, but very well played by Wizzy to get the up smash of his own off of the punish. Yeah, so Mars definitely looking, well, one, uh, he didn't get the full uh, multi hits because yeah he was a little further away so the first uh, like two hits pushed Wizzy uh, out of the rest thus uh, lining up for a great up smash but a little surprise you know Mars he will go do or die for that one and probably expecting Wizzy to jump out of shield with a back air scene that he just you know jumped and landed but no Wizzy just gonna hold shield hold steadfast with that and then get that up smash for the uh the, well the guaranteed Mario KO Mars taking a little bit of his own advice from the school of smash at summit just run up and up smash, yep, but just do it. turns out it doesn't work every time as Wizzy gets a great punish off of the parry into the up smash. Takes game number one. Now, I'm actually very curious to see where we're going for game two. This It's entirely possible that this just becomes a PS2 set, yeah, yeah. but it's also entirely possible that it becomes a counterpick war with them trading games back and forth. And here we go. We're going to Mars's counterpick up town and city. All right, man. So, got to give it up. Uh, definitely got to give it up to Dark Wizzy for getting that W, but... Yeah, Mars is going to try to go ahead and do some uh, due diligence and some big damage here on his counter pick. But I just want to play out. Actually, speaking of big damage, he's going to Wizzy first. Yeah, good ladder off of the grab. And now parrying the landing Nair into the uppy for just a little bit more damage. Wizzy's doing a fantastic job of just nickel and diming Mars in the low percents to, to get every little bit of percent away from him. Because while Mars is playing evasive, it's very hard to get those hits. So you need to take them for all they're worth. That way, when he makes the mistake like he did at the end of the last game, the up smash will do its job and kill. Oh, okay. Oh, Still works, okay. though. I'll, at 38%, at by thir the way. Uh, after the hit, too. Wizzy was at like 20 before the first back air hit. Man, that that is unfortunate. What an unfortunate way to go out. You know, look how much damage Wizzy's been able to do just to lose that stock at sub 50 uh, by a large margin. So, all right. But, I mean, all credit to Mars for recognizing that situation and then just going for it, knowing that, hey, I can get a stock really early here if Wizzy makes the mistake, uh, makes the mistake and then forcing that mistake out anyway. Okay, Wizzy getting another grab here. Go ahead and go for the back throw. Definitely still see Wizzy looking for that chase down up smash. That is what he is, uh, has been looking for almost every time he's gone for a stock. Mars will whip something and he'll just keep running at him knowing that Mars is probably going to try to step back and get some space. Wizzy waiting for the back air there. Instead opts for the dare at ledge, but it's still not quite enough. That high town and city blast zone. When you need Mars gets another chance to do more damage to Dark Wizzy. Gets caught by the down air this time though off of the platform and that's finally going to be the stock, but Mars should not have lived that long. Not at all. So Mars actually put hasn't even put up the uh, the same amount of damage as Wizzy so far by by any stretch of, of the word. See, they took that first stop. Oh my wow. God! We get those beautiful conversion from Dark Wizzy to be able to take the stock out. He just looked at him and goes, "You can take early stocks. I can too." Watch this. Which is interesting too, because like when we, when we think about Wizzy, you know, as the Mario, he's usually the neutral Mario. Like you see those combos like that using from Karama, but like Wizzy has a very strong neutral. But now it looks like he's kind of jumping into both uh, of those books of neutral and combos, putting it together and finding a great lead here onto Mars. And that's the Mario that I'm terrified, really. Like the the full combination of Dark Wizzy and Karama, whichever one of them can master it first, yeah. that's going to be the worst thing to fight against. Yeah, man. So, this, yeah, this is going great for Wizzy right now as he's very close to being in that up smash percentage again. The forward air, he's, he's got it. This is it right here. You find an up smash, you win the game. Mars tries for the side B onto Wizzy. Shield Wizzy very, very smartly just jumping out of it, not letting Mars get his option. This is going to be a back throw to put him off stage. Charging up Flood, too, just to keep that extra option to threaten him. And keep in mind, I didn't even notice until just now, Wizzy has another stock. Yep. Wizzy has a whole other stock available for him. So this game has not went well for Mars by any means. Uh, should be, okay, going for the fourth throw. Didn't get the immediate DI mix up, but I still think he should win for that up throw. I think up throw would have killed, but didn't manage to get any extra credit out of the bargain anyway. So Wizzy going to go down there thanks to Mars' F-Tilt on ledge. But 142, this is a hell of a task for Mars to pull off, especially with Wizzy playing so confidently in shield. One up smash is all it takes. You mentioned it yourself, and Wizzy more than happy to pull that. Ooh. Okay, just barely getting that ledge. Now, this is the oh, uh, no. scary part here is if he hit, gets hit with another nair. Oh, oh no! my god! I caught it as soon as it was happening. Wizzy putting himself in a position to hit, get hit with the classic right there. The nair flip jump kick. And Mars knows exactly what he just did to Wizzy. You see him shaking his head, breathing a sigh of relief because he won that by the skin of his teeth. Absolutely, man. What a, what a, well, actually, what a turnaround, obviously. Had to give it up to him. He was able to get a, uh, two very efficient stocks. The first stock was taken at 38, and that stock was taken around 60-ish. Good stuff.
Now, going into the next game, Wizzy has to live with that. He has to hold that. He was winning by so much, had a beautiful conversion into the fair to kill Mars on the second stock, and then put on so much percent throughout the third, and it was all for nothing. Mars just got one Nair flip kick, and it was all gone. Yeah. So I, I wonder what Wizzy's going to do out of that, because it's definitely a wear on the mental. And yeah. I saw him speaking on Twitter a little bit the last couple of days that Post-quarantine, Wizzy has been struggling a little bit with that mentality, uh, especially in high-pressure situations. So hopefully, he can continue to play his game as well as he's been doing and not crack under that. Yeah, that was definitely a big don't let it be you, uh, don't let it be you action right there moment. You know, you put yourself in that position where you have such a solid lead, and all you needed to find was one more up smash. And unfortunately, the only thing you found was the end of uh, that flip kick. So. And into that game now, Mar is able to push himself, uh, avoid the 2-0 uh, right here from Dark Wizzy, which was looking very imminent. But yeah, no, he ended up stealing that stock. Now maybe that's going to give him some confidence to push himself a little further into the set. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned that like Wizzy's confidence might be shaken a little bit, but I didn't even mention like how mu how much of a booster that is for Mars coming out of it. 71% already dealt, and now the platform's going away, so Wizzy maybe going to have a, a much harder time with the, the combo extensions at the very end, but at least for now, just a raw F smash to get him started. All right. Good again. Good grab there from Mars onto Wizzy at the ledge. Now Wizzy's stuck there yet again, but good use of the jump, recognizing that Mars really wants that paralyzer just to get the paralyzer up the by the ledge for the kill. Right. Both of them whipping in neutral, but that's going to be the Zare Bear. And into the side B, onto the ledge. A great follow-up from Mars. Yeah, easy stuff right there. Look at this. The fact that Mars only had 31%. Wait. Okay. I was going to say, no kill. he was in the position. If he, I think he, but he uh, hit him too high up for the first one, so he had to go for the triple up air instead of the uh, fastball up air forward air. But look at that damage output from Mars off of the singular whiffed uh, combo by Wizzy. He gets the double up air, then lands with up smash, then lands with up smash again. Like, that's so, so well executed by him, and Wizzy has to be very cautious that he's not giving up 3% like that. Yeah, Wizzy right here, though. Definitely got to find this stock sooner than later, but again, this is that speed that ZSS has, making it hard for Mario uh, to catch her. Okay, which layer? Nice. Good tech chase. Really, really nice by Wizzy to be able to take that stock out. But 76% on the board for Mars. This stock is not going to be living too much longer should he get his conversions right. And it's looking like he will. Good parry into the F-tilt. Now pressuring Wizzy offstage yet again. Looking for the jump get up, but good read and neutral get up from Wizzy. And here comes the ladder. Okay. Well, gets a double back there, uh, Bear in there. So now, okay. Got the Zare very close. Uh, honestly, man, I've been whiffing a lot of grabs here from Mars, but I feel like it's uh, Wizzy's almost never really in position to punish it right there. He's a little too high in the air. And yes, that is a long move, but it's more so a long move like you're able to roll through it and then get the punish from being directly close to her. Yeah, the, the thing about it is that like I don't even think it's too bad for Mars to be whiffing these. Yeah. Because even while they're not connecting, not getting kills, as Mars gets a kill right there with the side beat, they're still covering a lot of space, forcing Wizzy into a very specific area of neutral yeah. that he actually does not want to be in. For sure. So Wizzy definitely uh, able to put the damage on here. But Mars, you know, slowing it down a little bit. Not want to put himself in a bad position. Oh, my God. Okay. Got him on a couple of uh, F airs and F tilts. So that's a nice, uh, some decent damage at the beginning. But Wizzy, obviously, uh, one up one up smash away if he can find it. However, he can't even find the ground right now with the way that Mars is Ooh. playing. Almost. You saw what I saw right yep. there. Mars very nearly getting the spike hitbox on the flip kick instead. Let's Wizzy back onto the stage and then gets more damage built up. 86%. This is almost the reverse of what we saw last game though, TK. Yeah. So hopefully Mars can close it out unlike his opponent. Make sure that Wizzy doesn't make an insane comeback. Looking for the paralyzer on the ledge and that is going to be it. Yes, it is. Wizzy Got his got up, get up read. Uh, Red, excuse me, and Mars threw out that side beat, made sure that Wizzy would be going down two to one in the set. Yeah, super nice right there, man. That side beat off grounded version of the side beat, very strong. Uh, ends up hitting that and running away with that uh, third game. So now, in the game four, Dark Wizzy was playing well in that first and second game. Second game got sapped from him, and now it's uh, looking a little rough for him in this set, but we'll see if he can get it going. There we go. Taking a big breath, shaking it off. Shake it out. Make sure that you go into this all-important game four with the correct main mentality because, like I mentioned before that one, it's very easy to let a loss like that get to you. The Getting the game stolen away from you into immediately getting two-stocked, that hurts. Yeah. So, 
Let us uh, move into our fourth game here. I went to Kalos. Uh, a little interesting, to be honest, because I feel like ZSS actually performs quite well on this stage. But Mario could too, you know? Well, Mario already performing very well. 69% off the bat. A very nice starter for him. But Mars finding his inroads. Still, though, not too much with Wizzy getting these amazing grabs in neutral. Yeah, Wizzy doing a great job of kind of picking up some, some of Mars' habits. Mars definitely super aggressive and will uh, land something on your shield and then immediately go up to try to uh, uh, forward air you doing something on the shield. But now Wizzy's been holding set fast in that shield and he's going to find himself a nice up smash there for a early lead, almost catching that uh, F air. Mars would have definitely pushed him far enough away to go ahead and take that lead right away. And that's something that was uh, stunningly absent from game number three. We didn't see Wizzy going for those one up up smashes to punish Mars' laggy options. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, he lost the game pretty solidly because of it. Now, going back to his roots almost, getting that, uh, that up smash out of shield onto Mars, takes the first stock and looking for as much extra credit as possible before Mars connects with something along the lines of these bears, but good parry into the up air from Wizzy. Yeah, man, so here we go. Mars kind of showing his hand a little easier there, and now you're going to have to flip kick uh, out of there. Should be, no, not enough. Tall, tall ceiling once again, and on top of that still. Yeah, that very, very, enough. very, very tall ceiling from Kalos is going to mean Wizzy gets to live a little bit longer. Still going on this, gets the down air off of it too. Now Mars on triple digit percents, and from extra credit, that's not too shabby, and wow, Wizzy's still alive. Yeah, this is looking uh, real rough for Mars in this fourth game. Cannot get the stock. Okay, there it is. Finally. Finally. I like, you know, that's a mix, though, because earlier he did that same little situation. It looked like uh, Dark Wizzy was going for the parry on a back air, but the timing difference of the back air and the side B is going to go ahead and allow Mars to get that hit. Yeah, Wizzy doing a little bit of shield flickering at the ledge, too. Not really certain what Mars's option is going to be. Right? We mentioned it earlier. ZSS has so many things she can do off the ledge that almost that's what you have to do. You have to choose a defensive option because if you guess wrong going aggressively, she'll probably kill you off of it. Yeah. Right. Oh, good Nair into the dash attack too. Mars certainly down, but not out of this game. Finding that lead back, making sure that Wizzy never gets too comfortable in it. More and more up airs as well. Wizzy not really having the opportunity to land on stage, and okay, Mars very nearly finding the fair to kill. Oops. Right. Tries for the yeah. up smash. Okay, that, we've seen that a couple of times yeah. so far. Mars just missing the up smash. Mario, a bit of a shorter character uh, in, in this roster, so going to be able to duck under that almost as Mars goes for it, but the up yeah. B out of shield going to result in the stock. All right, man, so now an even game, uh, although this was looking very, very hard for Mars earlier. He was able to bring himself well back into this, but Dark Wizzy going to go ahead and start up early on this last stock with the 52% just like that. Okay. Wizzy trying to find the, the opening hit, but Mars... But again, he's so good at playing that middle distance, staying away from Wizzy, um, that the very rare occasions where he does get the hit, Wizzy can't even carry it for all it's worth as he's used to with Mario, but yeah. still doing a great job of finding that percent where he can. 77%, 106 now. Ooh, okay, that, that was a nice conversion right there. Zare up air to the back air, but unfortunately, doesn't matter how good that conversion is, you have a lot of damage that you need to make up right now. 119 and 62, Wizzy still putting on a good show and potentially Take it. Okay, yeah, no, not Mars. Not even gonna try to approach that. You saw that Wizzy was setting up for that back, uh, for the backside of that up smash. But keep in mind, there's always that oh. opportunity to steal the game away. Wizzy very nearly finding it, but Mars holding on to his life by this, by, just by a hair. Yeah, by really. a hair for sure. And this is, oh my God, no, I, that was intro. Oh, you know what? Honestly, it was an interesting play right there for Mars. He saw how close Wizzy was and thought maybe I can stick this foot out and get this hit. But the whiff did mean that was a do-or-die moment. Uh, when you land on the ground after that flip kick, you are just there. <laughs> like, yeah. you are there for some frames, so. And, yeah, like you said, Wizzy taking great advantage of it, just throwing out that down smash. But I, I do want to applaud Mars for actually going for that because yeah. it was a very, very smart option if he had managed to get the berry. Uppy, I believe Uppy would have killed in that situation yeah. on Kalos. So very nearly stole it away from Wizzy yet again. But... Wizzy does manage to clutch it out, and we are going to game five, TK. I think this is exactly what everyone wanted. All right, man. So I'm definitely loving the way the set is going because, uh, yeah, the one thing I have to say is, like, the, the way they're playing neutral is great. The way that uh, Wizzy is actually getting some great co uh, conversions off of just straight hits is great. Mars has been able to do the same thing, but I feel like it's a little more credit to Wizzy as he's right. the one pretty, pretty much having to chase Mars down for a lot of this neutral. So Yeah, Mars just constantly running away. Um, and Wizzy 
the, the fact that he has to rely on stray hits is such a testament to how well Mars plays defensively. Because a lot of the time, Wizzy can just get a combo starter and then you'll see him take like a hundred, uh, give like a hundred percent to any random opponent. But because it's Mars, he's having to rely on these stray nares, these stray up airs, oh, grab every once in a while to get something started. And I wonder what our final counter pick is going to be for this set. And it looks like we might, okay, we're going back to where we began, Pokemon Stadium 2 to finish this out. All right. So, the Zero Suit is back out. Obviously, the Mario is back out. Let us get to a Wizzy again, taking the big breath, knowing how, how important this is. This is the game five and is not on his counter pick. So, he's going to have to play a little harder here. But where are we going? PS2. Um, and it's it's where Wizzy managed to win game right. number one. Uh, I, I'll point out very, very strongly, too. So, uh, a little bit of a. a interesting choice by Mars to go back to where he lost, but uh, it's definitely very possible for him to take here. Yeah. So, this, uh, I just said, this is where it all started, and what was going to all end as well. ZSS taking a lot of damage here at the very beginning. Yeah, taking a beating, really. Wizzy doing so much off the bat, 87%, and that means he's going to be looking for a kill very shortly, should Mars get a little bit over-aggressive, throwing out that F-Smash, but Mars not going to make that mistake, obviously. It's it's very rare that a player of his caliber gets hit by that. Okay, a little neutral air action. Now, there's the, okay. Thought he was gonna try to get a back air in there, but it's gonna be a nice little grab, some extra damage here from Dark Wizzy, but you can see Mars yeah, just trying to keep some level of space between him, which is what you're obviously gonna to wanna to do when you're in this percentage where that up smash will take that stock. Oh, going to go for it, but Wizzy, no up smash out of shield that time. Finds it there, but Almost looking like Mars would have gotten the opportunity to find a little bit more damage before Wizzy got that stock, despite making the mistake on shield. Wizzy, though, great awareness to be able to go for it. Anyway, gets the secondary up smash and finds the stock. Great start to game number five by him. Ooh. This should be a down throw, or yeah. an up throw, down air, excuse me. Okay, scooped up yet again. Now you can see Mars definitely be trying to get the stock sooner than later. Definitely using both of his kill options there on the side with the back. Oh, no! Mars has got to stop whiffing these uppies out of shield or Wizzy will find a huge punish on them later for, uh, later in percent. That'll result in a stock. Yeah. Oh, man, not the second hit of the forward air hitting, unfortunately. Now, I mean, he went for the back air that would have most likely taken the stock, but probably thought he was going to be able to hit both of those real easy by just running forward with it. And now Wizzy just, yeah, finds, barely. Finally finds that back air just barely. I felt like he was, like, at that point where he could have tried to air dodge back in, but... Either way, this is looking uh, looking better for Mars now. Finally got that stock and not taking too much. Yeah, now I mean, starting to add it up. In the grand scheme of things, 66%, not all too much, especially given uh, the damage output that Mars is showing us right now. 51%, 62 still climbing, chasing with that back air Wizzy. Good DI outwards to not get hit by it, but yeah. the fact that it was even an option is very scary for him. Okay. Oh, nah, no! There it is, man. Mars knows how to convert off any of these snares at any percentage. Be the Nair flip jump or the Nair into the back air. Wizzy looking for a little uh, extra damage right there with that upbeat, but actually whips and now. Oh! Okay. It's fair center stage, not going to be able to find a follow up for it, but it was looking scary if maybe Wizzy could have gotten an upbeat out of it. Yeah. Regardless, an up smash is going to result in the stock in 24.8. That is all that separates these two. Yep, last stock here, one more time. Uh, between them and on a game five. So whoever wins this will be moving on to in that uh, winner side of things. The other will have to fight a little harder to get back into that top eight if they can make it on the loser side. Was he looking for a down smash there to maybe get something started? The dare is also punished, so hasn't been able to find that critical hit to open up Mars on this final stock. Instead, it's been Mars just keeping him stuck, almost in disadvantage, but mostly just in neutral. Yeah, Mars, uh, he, I mean, he's been kind of correct uh, on a couple of these uh, paralyzers, these down smashes, but he just pulled the trigger a little earlier. Okay. Going to be a grab, though, as a result of the whip. Oh death smash, and wow, what a chase on the rollout. Not going to result in the stock quite yet, but while well, Wizzy's on notice, 118% on the ledge versus ZSS, that is the last place anyone wants to be. I needed that to kill just for that raid to look more godlike, because, like, he already knew. He was like, I already know you're, you're going to try to create some space, and I'm already here with you. One of the faster care, uh, run speeds in the game to be able to do that, too. Okay, caught the roll in as well, but just a little early. 
on the side B. Wizzy has to watch himself here on the edge. Seeing that a side B, a back air, any of that could take it, but he can also steal this game away if he can find himself an up air to a forward air. At the side, the up throw not going to be enough just yet, but at 153, a lot is coming at him. The back throw. All right. Interesting. Back, back throw to just take over center stage control by Mars. Very, very smart. But the down throw, the F throw at ledge is going to result in Wizzy yet again holding on to That's stage it. control, but that is going to be it. Mars just barely clutching it out in what was way, way closer than it had any right to be after Wizzy's opening. Absolutely, man. Yeah, well, w Wizzy did uh, a very good job in that fight, though, regardless. You know, Mars, as I said, no slouch into getting in the top base pretty, uh, uh, very often. Wizzy also not a slouch normally, but he has been having a, a rough uh, tournament season so far. However, he is still in, and he's uh, like, what, two, three games away from getting in the top end of the loser sides now. So as long as he can keep that momentum up, the same momentum we saw there, and just push it a little further, we should be able to see him on the loser side of things. Yeah, I mean, Mars, no shame in losing to a top five player, right. remember. Uh, I, I've seen like the conversations happening recently of like Wizzy being washed or whatever, but he's literally only lost to people who were like top 10, top 20 yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. Um, regardless, very, very, very well played by Mars to be moving on to winner's quarter final where he'll be taking on, I believe, Louis Money uh, later on in the stream. But TK, that is going to be it for the two of us. That yeah, was man. our final set. We are going to be signing it off and pa passing it to two very fantastic commentators to take you through the rest of Top 32. Yeah, man. And so, yeah, man, definitely stick around. And we got multiple streams for you to watch. Too. I see Vicky and now uh, Sensor there on the other stream as well. So if you want to keep up with all the action, make sure you keep that squad stream active and open. But I'm TK. This is Last. We will catch you next time. We'll be right back.